Walking a thousand miles away from homelessness, then, where has this idea come from? Um, I'm Karen Maskell, founder of Outdoor Muckers, and um, several, several years ago now, I picked up, and right or wrong, picked up two homeless guys in my car, realised that they'd been homeless for over 20 years, and I just wanted to do something about it. And um, as I love the outdoors, um, getting people back in touch with nature and friendship, I realised that there must be something that I can do with this and when I eventually met Mark I decided this is it getting back in touch with nature surrounded by friendship it's the way to go and Mark what was it like when you when you when you first heard of this idea when this was first presented to you what was your initial reaction um I, I, was, I was shocked to be honest I'd been homeless for ma many years and when I met Callum it it wasn't said straight away, it was, we got to be friends first and it took a lot to trust Cadden and, and let, let her know how I was feeling and how I felt and how I wanted to go on because I felt like I was on my own, yeah? And it, it was exciting when, when she had come up with the idea, it was really exciting. And then it sort of slowed down a bit, didn't it? Mm, and yeah, yeah. Never went anywhere, but the last <clears> few <throat> months it, we've done a few things and people got involved and... It's exciting again, though. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, at what point when she mentioned walking, have you have you enjoyed walking in the past, or, or was it more the idea of, of of you know taking a stand and being able to fight for a cause that that appealed to you? To be honest, um, when I was younger, I was with foster parents, and they used to be in the mountain rescue for Snowden, and I, I used to go with them a lot up there. You know, when they used to do their stints. You know, and, we, and I enjoyed it, and I loved being outside anyway, which is a good job, seeing as being homeless. And also, you know, I like the idea of, you know, once I've achieved my goal, then we can help the next person. And I, I know what they've been through, what they're going through, and how they feel. So if I can help the next one along as well, and, you know, and just keep it going. You'll often hear people fundraise for, for these kinds of issues, but it's, I suppose it's a little bit more rare that you have someone that's, that's been in that position doing it. Do you think that you can really help sort of show, show other people that have been in or are in this sort of situation that, that, that there are ways to, to get out of it and that there are ways to, to, to go forward? Definitely, yeah. Because, you know, I felt it myself. It, it's been nearly 30 years on and off. I've been homeless, whether it's been sofa surfing or on the streets. And you feel like there isn't anywhere to go, you've got nowhere to go at all. And you give up hope. And the one thing you can't do is give up hope. You know, and if someone can see someone else doing it, then it gives you hope that you can do it, do you know what I mean? And especially if it's someone who's, who's experienced what you're going through and they understand it, you know, it, it, it makes a big difference. And Karen, what's the sort of purpose of this walking 1,000 miles away from homelessness? Have you got a, a fundraising target? Is, is the money going to go towards anything in particular? What, what's the plan with it? Yeah, we're, we're raising funds in various means, obviously initially by donations, but we are developing a membership site as well um, where friends can join following Mark's progress. But ultimately, it's not just walking the 1,000 miles without a name. There are clear goals and targets to aim for along the way, vocational training, and Mark will ultimately become a hills and moorland leader, so he can take walking groups out on the hills and moorlands in various areas of the UK. So he will be either self-employed or find a great job or remain with us employed to help the next person in the next. So, yeah, he'll have a really good career out of this. Fantastic, which will be fantastic for you, Mark. And as, lo as well as having those personal achievements, when this is all done and dusted, what do you hope the, the legacy will be? Do you, do you hope that other people maybe will uh, almost literally or, or metaphorically follow in your footsteps? Well, that, that's the hope. You know, we, we hope that from this one, another person's going to come along and we'll train the next person. It doesn't have to be a walking vocation. It could be anything. It can be rock climbing. It could, whatever that person is interested in, you know, we'll just help them along the way. We'll learn from the mistakes we made with myself. We'll learn from that and get better and better and put more and more people through. That's, that's the plan. Fantastic. And where can people keep track of, of what Mark is doing and, and where can they donate? If they go to outdoormuckers.co.uk... The main landing page there is 
they have an ability to donate to Mark. They can also do some fundraising if they want. We've got a few people signing up now to do skydives, bungee jumps, things like that to raise funds, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. And they'll also see on that website a community link that they can just join for free um, just to share a few kind words with Mark and, and, and Mark will be feeding back on his progress so they can support him along the way. Fantastic. Is there anything else either of you that would like to add that we might not have covered at all? Outdoor Muckers is a member of Outside In, which is a group of VCFs, voluntary, charity and faith groups. We're tackling homelessness across Chester and West Cheshire area together.